Models are a special type of map that are created automatically based on the associations between components that have been previously created. There are five types of model, and I'll briefly show you each one. When I go up to the new button, you'll see each of the models listed here. First of all, we'll take the one case model. And you'll see that you need to drag in a document, document group or document set in order to generate a one case model. I'll just take a document for this illustration. And when I do that, I get various choices. I'm actually not going to take any memos right now. Uh, and I will make sure that the priority is by segment size and click OK. And you'll see that very quickly, Max QDA generates a map, a one case model in this example, showing me all of the codes that sit in the document that I asked for, which was group three, redundant short time, and also indicates to me the coded segments. And as you saw from the earlier part of the video, I can right click and ask to see the content of the segment uh, in this map also. The thicker the lines, the more times that code has been applied to coded segments across the whole data set. But what MaxQDA is showing us here are the coded segments for each code just within this document. So for example, with the family support codes, there are three coded segments to that code within the document that we're looking at, but a total of eight across the whole project. So now let's look at the next model, which is a one code model. Very, very similar in many ways, but this time focused on a code rather than a document or a document group. So I'm just going to take my uh, family support code and drag that in. And I'll just accept mainly the default options. I'm not choosing weight because I haven't got weight in this project. So I'll just click OK and you'll see there that it's brought in uh, the coded segments for that code. Uh, and again, in the usual way, I can ask to see the actual coded segments as labels in this map. I'm going to show you a code theory model which I've generated previously, this one here. So I'm focusing on what, on a top level code, the broad brush codes area, and it's showing me all of the subcodes uh, that are related to that particular code. So I'll just show you a code subcode segments model, which requires me to bring in a code which has subcodes. So I'm just going to take this one, which is the responses to a particular question in the survey, and I'll just accept the default options. And you'll see that very quickly, MaxQDA illustrates to me all of the subcodes and allows me to access in the usual way the coded segments that are linked to each particular code here. And in that way, I can start to visualize together in this model codes and subcodes and associated coded segments. I'll just finish up by showing you the code co-occurrence model. And I'll do that for family support. When I drag that in, you'll see that it asks if I want to insert more code. So I'm just going to say yes to that. And I've got another code called family, which I moved earlier. And I'll also take concern for younger because I know that that's often related to family issues. So I'm going to say no now and just focus on these three. I'll take off the line width and just click OK. And you'll see that it's done quite a lot here. I just need to reduce the size in order that I can see more easily what's going on. And this is quite a large one, but the three codes uh, that I asked for are focused here in the middle and we can see that it's showing us code co-occurrences. So these are the three codes uh, that I asked for and it's drawn lines with other codes where those two codes co-occur in the data. So in this example, I chose these three codes because I thought there may be some overlapping coding and you can see that there are indeed 
some overlaps going on. So this allows me to think a little bit more deeply about whether I need to merge uh, any of these codes together to make a higher level category. There are all kinds of other uses to put towards maps and models, but in this video we've given you an overview. Please refer to chapter 5 to read more about maps.